Hey guys, in this one, I wanna show you how to use Uber Eats to get food delivered to your door. So let's open Uber Eats. And really you're gonna be meted with the front page or the home page straight away. And it's going to know where you are really by the lo location on your phone. So you're not gonna to have too many difficulties, but obviously you're gonna to want to put your address in first and foremost. And really you can do that all through your account page, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. So go ahead and open that up. And really there's one thing that you need to do, which is view your account. You can then add or edit to your account. So for example, if I press edit account, you can change your name, you can change the telephone number that you have in there and your email address as well. You are going to have to verify your phone number when you do sign up to Uber Eats. That is essential. They're not gonna be able to send anything to you or even allow you to order anything if your phone number isn't verified. And what they're gonna do is send you a text message. So you need the proper number in there. You need um, an ability to receive the text message. It's gonna have a number in there that you put into Uber Eats to just tell them that you received it. Once you're verified, you can then go and order everything. So if I come out of here, as you can see, you can add some saved places, maybe home or work, and you can add an address here, press enter new address, and then just start typing away this will be the address that you live at. So it will just search and you can pick any of those. Obviously put your address in pretty straightforward. But if we come out of there and come out of the account, another option that's really important is the wallet. So you're gonna to have to add a payment option. So if you press wallet, then you can see there are some options here. You can add a payment method. If you have any vouchers, that is also in here. So if you have a voucher, maybe someone's referred you or you've got an, a voucher, you can press add voucher. Just simply enter the voucher number here and it will be added to your account for you to use for future purchases. If you want to add a credit card or a debit card to this, press add payment method. Then you can see credit or debit card. And if you've got any Uber gift cards, you can add them here as well. I'm just gonna show you how to add a credit or debit card because that's the one you need. As you can see, just put your card number in and all of your address details, but you can actually take a photo of your card as well. If you see that small camera icon on the right hand side, just get your credit or debit card out face front upwards. So you're taking a picture of the number and it will input all of the numbers for you directly. There might be some CVV numbers that you'll have to put in yourself, but it's pretty straightforward and you can just add your payment method like that. Then as we come out of the wallet, obviously all of the other things are pretty straightforward. You can add favorite restaurants. All you have to do is go into the restaurant and tap on the heart and it will be all in there. There might be some promotions in your areas, but there is none for me. Maybe you have some invite friend codes. So if you refer people to Uber Eats, you can put them in here. Other than that, it is pretty straightforward. So when you go to the homepage, it will populate the restaurants that are pretty much nearest to you. You can sort them by a price range and there's no real options here. It's just sort of a very rough guide to how much you really want to spend, but you can definitely do that. So if you scroll along at the top, obviously this is the option to go pick it up, which is not delivery and there are other options as well. So as you can see, delivery or pick up, then you can set also your dietary requirements like vegetarian, vegan, and gluten free. And once you've picked all those, for example, if I just choose that, then you can just press apply and it will sort out all of the options that fit your criteria. I don't want to use any of those though, so I'll just go to the other page. You can then sort the restaurants and everything by the most popular or the rating or how fast they're delivered. And if you scroll to the right hand side, Again, you can change the price range here and also the delivery fee, how much you want to pay. So you can scroll up on the right hand side or if you do want to see all of those, just press that option and it will be in there. Then I'll show you how to search for something. So for example, if you want to search for beer, you can do that in the search option and it will give you all of the restaurants that actually serve beer as part of the menu. Then you can then click on any uh, restaurant that does do that and you can see what they have. You can then scroll down to all of the options that they have. 
because I've been searching for beer, everything related to beer is in here. So as you can see, you can buy some Asahi, some Blue Girl, some 1664, some Hogarland. So it's all in there and very easy to uh, find. If you do want to choose something, just click on that option. The way you add it to your cart is to scroll down to the bottom. And as you can see, you can just change how many you have of that thing. Uh, so if I want 10 beers, and then you can just add them to your basket at the bottom, that is now in your basket. So if I swipe out of this restaurant now, I will pretty much go back to the search page where I was searching for beer or the home page, depending on uh, where you were at the time. If you want to view your basket, just press that option. Here it's giving me some extra options because obviously I'm not ordering too much. So yeah, okay, I'll just add a bowl of rice, continue. And as you can see, I'm actually doing a pickup order, but if it was delivery, you would just have the delivery order and it would go to the delivery address that you specified. There will be some options in the cart. For example, a lot of the options, you can turn on or off utensils. So if you wanna save utensils and you don't need them, you can just turn that off. Then when you go down to the bottom, as I said, you can just press place order, pick up in this case, and that order will be placed and your payment method will be charged. That's it for this one. If it was helpful, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.